Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another <clears throat> video. This time around, this time around, around, I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the recent announcement that Aza Butterfield um, may have recently been cast as Spider-Man for the 2017 Spider-Man reboot, as well as Civil War and Infinity and and the Infinity Wars movies in 2019 and 2020 or 18 and 19, whatever. Um, Avengers: Infinity Wars. <clears throat> so yeah, it's been rumored recently heavily that he may be the next Spider-Man. Now, my thoughts on this. So when the news originally came out of the shortlist for Spider-Man, of who would portray Spider-Man, the shortlist, um, Ace of Butterfield, I was questioning, basically. I didn't really think he had the acting chops and that he had the look for Spider-Man. Um, the other people that were... On, in the list were Nat Wolf, which I thought he was a per he looks like a perfect choice. Um, Liam James, I thought he was okay. Um, Timothy Ch um, Ch Chamalet, um, I th I Chalamet, whatever. I didn't really like how he looked, and I didn't think he would be able to portray Spider Man. And then Tom Holland, I also thought he was a good choice for Spider Man. So the fact that they're choosing is a Butterfield, it's interesting. So yeah, I mean, Ace Butterfield, I am familiar with his work. Hugo, The Wolfman, for example. Um, Ender's Game, I've seen parts of it. I'm not going to say I've seen the whole thing, but I've seen parts of it. So, um, and The Boy in the Strap Pajamas, which I actually didn't know he was in it till I did that video. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I like The Boy in the Strap Pajamas, and Hugo's actually a pretty good movie. So he's got, he has the acting chops. My one problem with him is that I don't just, I don't think he has a look. Um, he doesn't really look like Peter Parker. Um... I mean, so far, I think, um, physically, um, looks-wise, look-wise, the best Peter Parker we've had would have to be Tobey Maguire, in my opinion, just the way he looks, because he, he's capable of playing this nerdy, he's capable of looking like this nerdy guy, but at the same time, you, you know, you know he has potential to be athletic. Um, Andrew Garfield, I liked him as Spider-Man, but he, he seemed more of a, I don't want to say he's a, he like, a jock, but he seemed more athletic and not nerdy enough. Ace of Butterfield, I don't know, he just, I don't know, I, 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 I don't know, something about his looks, I just don't see it, I don't know, um, I mean, I don't know, I really just don't know about him, cause, I mean, I, th I think he, he could go either way, he could look like a nerd, or he could look like a jock, um, I don't, for him, is there a possibility that they could put him somewhere in the middle? Yes, because I think if anybody, aside from, um, if anybody, I think they could choose him, you know, right in the middle, look somewhat athletic, but at the same time, somewhat, somewhat nerdy. But I don't know something about his looks just doesn't, just doesn't scream out Peter Parker to me. I mean, to me, I mean, when I first saw Tobey Maguire as Spider Man, I thought you know he kind of looks, he does look a lot like Peter Parker. Um, Andrew Garfield. Same thing, I didn't really think he looks like Peter Parker. Um, he had the wits, he had the jokes like Peter Parker. Um, but I never really thought he looked like Peter Parker. But you know, I got used to it after like half an hour into the first Spider-Man movie. Um, and the trailers and whatnot. So I got used to it, but I still, but I always thought, you know, but I always in the back of my mind, I always said, he really doesn't look like a Peter Parker from the comics. And I think this is the same situation. I don't really think he looks like a um, Peter Parker from the comics. He could be a good Peter Parker. He could be, you know, he could have the wits. He could have the brains. But I think always in the back of my mind, I'm always going to say or and think that he doesn't look like Peter Parker. Also, um, the thing is that with this new Peter Parker, I want, I believe they said they want to make a six, they, like a 16, 17 year old or something like that. And I feel like he just looks way too young. Now, I feel he just looks way too young in my opinion um he looks way too young he looks younger than me for god's sakes and i don't want to and not yet because i'm 16 and i don't want to view spider-man as younger than me and that's also another issue with me with him is a butterfield that he looks way too young or not not way too young but he looks younger um he looks he, look, he looks younger than me and i think that's an issue for me a pet peeve or whatever that's an issue for me and that he looks Younger than I'd imagine Peter Parker. We've never even I mean, really Peter Parker's always been like 17 16 17 when the comic book series started or whatever and I mean most of the times we got the Peter Parker Incarnations we get like on TV and film are like 17 18 year olds So this guy he kind of he looks like a 16 year old, but I mean he could maybe pass for 16 year old But he looks like a 15 year old and supposedly he's 18 so 
yeah. I don't know, he just looks young too. He looks pretty young. Um He looks pretty young in my opinion, that's also an issue. Because he's eighteen years old. He they want Peter Parker to Peter Parker to be sixteen or seventeen and he looks like a fifteen year old. That's my issue. Um I don't know. I mean I guess once we'll have to see the trailers to Civil War because that's when Spider Man is supposedly um first gonna appear, so I'll maybe see how he does in that for Captain America Civil War, um, and after that, I may be giving my thoughts on that, and even after that, this isn't confirmed, it's just a rumor that's been going around, it's like a major rumor, um, I mean, anybody else could be cast, Nat Wolf could be cast, Liam James, Timothy Chamolette, Tom Holland, Holland, they could all be cast as Spider-Man, and this is just one huge rumor, um, so yeah, um, I am interested to see who they choose, is a Butterfield, not my first choice, as I've said before. As I've said before, Nat Wolf I think would be a better choice. Tom Holland would be a better choice. Um, but you know, let's just wait to see who they cast and watch trailers for Civil War, Spider Man, and Infinity Gauntlets Part One and Two afterwards. Um, yeah, um, that's basically it for this. Um, th my my thoughts on it. I'll leave a link down below for an article for those who want to check it out. Um, aside from that, that's basically it for now. Subscribe if you're not, if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Um, comment down below on your thoughts on is a Butterfield uh, portraying Spider-Man, uh, Peter Parker, what are your thoughts on it? Aside from that, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off. Wait. Oh, wow, he's 5'11". Okay, he's pretty tall. I thought he was shorter. Okay. Uh, no, I just kind of saw that on Wikipedia right now. Um, yeah, he, apparently he's 5'11". I thought he was like 5'11". 10 or something, not 5'10", sorry, like 5'6", or 5'7". I thought he was pretty short, but he's taller than I thought. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, sorry, got off topic. Bye.